Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I have a very popular requested video that people were asking about and it's essentially going to be how to make your own loot filter in Last Epoch. But it's a little more than that for me. There's a website going around called LE Tools um, where you can basically plug in your build and it will spit you out a loot filter. I have never personally tried it and I'm sure it's extremely helpful, but I'm gonna tell you why I personally like making my own loot filters in Last Epoch and why I think people should just try it out a little bit. So first off, there's kind of a lot to cover. So this is gonna be focused more on the beginner side of things. It's not gonna be talking about highlighting crazy rare stuff, more so just getting you started with the game so you don't feel overwhelmed with all of the loot dropping. So step one, to create your filter, you're gonna press Shift F and you're gonna click this little button, create a new filter. You name it whatever you want, you can edit this. So new filter, uh, a dot exe, that's what we're gonna call it. Um, we don't really need a description and this all doesn't really matter. So now that you have your new filter, what's pretty important is figuring out what build you wanna play. Well, chances are you already have a class because you're in the game right now. So let's use you as an example. Say you're playing a rogue, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click add rule here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is click add condition. Now, you're probably, if you're playing a rogue, let's say you wanna play a bow build, right? So you, you know, right off the bat, you wanna play some type of archer. You don't really know what type, but you know you wanna use bows, right? So we're gonna go ahead and where the condition is, we're gonna select item type. Now from here, this is one of the most intuitive and coolest systems, I have to say, that Last Epoch offers. Not only is the loot filter a loot filter, to me it's also a built-in Wikipedia. So from here, let's go to type and let's search by bow. Select bow and hit confirm and under subtype, right? Actually, I think I, hold on, I think I did that incorrectly. Give me one second. Okay, under bow, under two-handed weapon, you wanna make sure you confirm that. And then under subtype here, when you click it, it will show you every single bow subtype in the entire game. And here's why this is cool. You've barely done anything in the game now and you decide by looking at these, you wanna play a crit bow build. So you can highlight birch bow. You can go ahead and scroll down here. You can click recurve bow, cause that's also crit. You can scroll down even more for a felian bow because that has crit and crit multi. And then maybe a dreadthorn, there's another one, right? And then all the way down to obsidian, you have the giga one. So we can go ahead and click confirm here. And now what we're gonna do, uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do is change the color so that when this bow drops, we can see it, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and select color. I'm gonna do like a bright green. I'm gonna make sure it's in capitals so it yells at me. And now anytime that bow drops, we will see it on the filter, 100%. So if I apply the same logic to a pair of boots, right? Let's use another example here. So add rule, add condition, right? So now, not only are you playing a bow, ignore the boots for now, let's start by an affix type, right? So affixes in this game, if you're familiar with Path of Exile, you have prefixes and suffixes. In this game, you have two prefixes and two suffixes. You can kind of get more, but let's not worry about that. So from here, say you don't really know exactly what you want, but you know you're playing a bow build. If you just sort by bow affixes, you can see all of these beautiful affixes. What this does is when this type of affix drops, I'm gonna show you how it will work. So these boots that I'm wearing now have attunement. So I'm gonna tag attunement here. And under attunement, I want it to drop as bright pink. Now, this would make it so anytime an item with attunement pops up, it will be bright pink. So you can make this a bit more specific, like you can make it so under the advanced options, maybe it has tier two attunement, tier three attunement. But let's not worry about that, we're on the basics here. Now when I add this to my filter and I drop this pair of boots on the floor, look at them. They are now gonna be highlighted in pink. So you can apply this logic so that you can start prioritizing what stats you want early on. Now. When you are playing through Last Epoch, this is a little bit into the crafting now, we're not gonna go too much into this. The reason why you would wanna highlight specific stats is because you can use stuff called a Rune of Shatter. So you can shatter an item acquiring some of these affixes. Now, if you only have like one stat and you try to shatter it, most likely you're not really gonna get that. That's kind of where the Rune of Removal comes for, but we typically wanna do that for a little bit more niche or rare stats. Again, not too big of a deal. Going back to the loot filter though, Remember how we just showed all the different bow bases? Well, not only can we show bow bases and affixes we want on the bow, furthermore, if I go ahead and add a rule and add a condition, you can also do this for all of your equipment. So say we go into body armor, right? Let me, or let's click body armor, right? 
you don't know what body armor you wanna use, right? Well, you are a rogue, so we can click rogue, and now we have a beautiful breakdown. So what type of build are we playing? Are we playing a crit build? Let's go ahead and scroll down. Uh, we could probably use physical. Physical is a generic damage type for the most part, right? Maybe uh, right here, down here, exiled code has crit chance. You'll probably select something in between here, like maybe you need resistances throughout your journey, right? And you can pretty much, again, use this for pretty much every piece of gear. And the reason why this is so important is unlike Path of Exile, the base equipment in this game is so impactful. It is so strong. So if we scroll down to some of the later on pieces, um, like right down here, dragon hide coat, bonus, so 180 base armor, uh, critical strike chance, like base critical strike chance, I think, and critical strike avoidance. That's like three pretty strong stats kind of combined into one piece, right? Or falconry armor, for example, four to eight dexterity, that's equivalent to like a tier four roll on your piece of gear of an attribute, along with damage to your falcon, right? So by utilizing the loot filter, you can not only somewhat start to plan your build, you can highlight all of this stuff. You can also hide things. So here's an example of how you hide equipment. So you click add a rule, and instead of doing show here, we're just gonna click hide. From hide, we're gonna add a condition and we're gonna go by rarity. Rarity, normal, add. I like taking this and putting it at the bottom here. I believe this puts it, I could be wrong here, I might be incorrect, at the bottom of the list, so anything that maybe you wanted to see, maybe you wanted to see a base equipment, this would normally be hidden if it's this way, I think, where it's at the top, but at the bottom, it's the last, so it will check base type before it tries to hide it. Now, eventually, once you understand all of your different attributes you want on your equipment or stats, you can turn this down and start hiding even like more, for example, like magic or rare. I would not do this at the beginning of the game because there are very rare affixes and I will give you an example of some of them. So if we go here and let me just, uh, instead of attunement here, I know for sure there is one called hybrid health. And what hybrid health does is it's just a rare stat with combined flat and percentage. Each class also has unique things. So if we wanna break this down a little bit more, you're playing a bow build. One of the bow skills I believe is multi-shot. So if we type in multi, right? This is gonna uh, try a tag crit multi, but we don't care about that. Let's scroll down a little more. So under class specific here under rogue, you can see level of multi-shot increase damage per arrow with multi-shot. It's always a great idea to search the skill you're playing because you might find very specific things around that. And not only will those roll on your class specific affixes, you might even have an idol for it. So if I open up the rogue one, you can actually see here, increased damage per arrow with multi-shot, right? So again, it might not be a good stat, but it's important to know where that can occur. After you have done all this, then you can kind of prioritize more on the hiding. So that's why I personally recommend loot filters. They can really help teach you kind of where you wanna go with your build, understand your bases, understand the power of these affixes that drop. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please feel free to let me know. Uh, feel free to drop a comment down below, but that's pretty much about it. So hope you guys had a wonderful time. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. See you guys all tomorrow.